And by all means, expect Cicero. They're obsessed with Cicero at Cambridge. Yes, sir. You should feel very confident, Hawthorne. I've not had a student at Brookfield who prepared so thoroughly. Oh, come on, Hawthorne, what is it? Sir, it's just that I've been a scholarship boy at Brookfield and been made to feel pretty low on account of it. Hawthorne, scholarships honour the intellect. Our bursaries here make Brookfield very, very special to me. But, sir, everyone here knows they only go to the, to, to the unwealthy. And everyone at Cambridge will know that too. Doesn't the quality of the mind outweigh all social considerations? When you graduate from Cambridge, and I feel certain that you shall gain entry there, and I feel certain you shall graduate with distinction, help whom you can to use their minds well. That will uh, level the score, hmm? Now would be a good time to feel ashamed, gentlemen. So this is our house initiation? It's barbaric, Reinhardt. Barbaric. I've said so before, and I shall go on saying it until good behavior supervenes. But so I was barreled. Precisely, and it made you a barbarian. Now get to your house. You're supposed to stay there until fetched. Now you will have to do it all over again. Please, sir. It wasn't my fault, sir. All the dice is innocent in this. All the dice. Go to bed. Put some dry clothes on, all the dice. Chippy, did you halt the barrel? Interest omnium rectum for care. Speak English. It is for the good of all to do right. I am all the dice's housemaster, not you. Cuddling with a little beast. Can you imagine? Running noses, stomach aches. Ugh. Not for me. I told the headmaster as much. Oh. oh no, I didn't mean I'd be quite the thing for you. Oh. What's 
Master, a bolter, a roof, a boy who ought to know better. Address it, would you, Mr. Chipping? I shall want to know. Headmaster. Main prep room, Sexton. Ten minutes. It's, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Come. Close the door, Sexton. Come stand in front of me. Put your boater down. Raise both your arms and hold out each hand with the palm flat and upward. Hmm? <clears throat> now, Sexton, it is a distinct contravention of Brookfield's rubric to climb a roof. Why, Sexton? Because danger lies inherent. Therefore, I must address this willful misdemeanor of yours. You heard the headmaster, hmm? Very well. Get out, Sexton. Thank you, sir. I'm in. Cambridge has accepted me. I'm in. Oh, well done, Hawthorne. That's wonderful news. Well done. Oh, no, sir. Well done to you. I could not have done it without you. Uh, no, Hawthorne. In life there are matters of character and there are matters of behaviour. Passing that examination was a matter of character. Good character. Highest praise, Hawthorne. Highest praise. Uh, come in. You sent me, Headmaster. Ah, yes, Jimmy. Uh, do sit down. Now, Jimmy, I sent for you regarding the position of the new housemaster. Yes, headmaster. It's a position of some gravity, you know. Uh, indeed it is, headmaster. The position of a housemaster is one which requires an egregious range of values. Duties in a house extend far above and beyond those of a classroom. A different dedication, a redirected perception and so forth. You do not, I feel sure, require a recital. Indeed. In fact, I find myself so much in agreement uh, that a recital would be superfluous. Good. I'm grateful. So, bearing in mind all things, I've decided to offer the position to Stefel. Yes, it must. An excellent choice. Thank you, Chipping. That will be all, Chipping. Headmaster, may I inquire as to why... I mean, so to speak, why I was not chosen? Uh, you know, Chipping, I sometimes think that giving reasons for one's actions is a rather futile gesture. You do understand what I mean, don't you? Yes, Headmaster. Thank you. Thank you. 
I haven't seen you since your ordeal. How are you? Um, are you going home for the holes? Hmm? Please, um... Come on, yes. guys. Race you. I wish I were going with you. You will be careful. I think I must avoid being careful, Max. It has availed me little. Nor, if I'm truthful, has being careless proved particularly useful. If you were my housemaster and I a senior boy, how would you now advise me? Goodbye, sir. I found that when I stopped judging myself harshly, the world became kinder to me. Remember I told you once, go out, look around the world. Do that now. Only this time, let the world look at you. My dear friend, I assure you, the world will like what it sees. Cheerio, man. Madam, oh. is everything in order? Hmm? You appear to be in a position of, of some possible peril. Uh, no peril. Thank you. You know why I'm up here? I don't. It's my vantage point. You see, from up here, I can see the fish perfectly. Did you know that fish are so much more visible when viewed from above. Indeed, there have been murmurs to this effect. Oh! 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 Hold on. <laughs> Keep quite still. Now, steady. That's it. I've got you. Just fall. Oh. <laughs> Are you all right? I am now. Thank you. Who are you? Oh, just uh, someone on holiday. Nobody, really. Well, nobody's nobody. Or is nobody actually your name? Richard Nobody. David Nobody. Actually, my name is Chipping. I was with a walking party, but I escaped. They didn't want to look at the fish. I did. What are you, Mr. Chipping? Are you a solicitor? No. Are you a stockbroker? A dentist? No, not a stockbroker. Not a dentist. Not a stockbroker, not a dentist. Are you a man with a, a cotton business in Manchester? No, uh... I'm a teacher. Uh, oh, how wonderful. Shelter, perhaps. Here. Oh, in here. Oh, that's that, 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 that. Oh, here. I have a cake. You know, a teacher is the very best thing to be. Well, I used to think so. Oh, yes. 